All right, they're both ready. They're both ready. You're both ready. All right, is chat ready? Is chat ready? Chat is ready. All right, let's get these two runners on the go. Find out, we'll find out later if we're gonna go to game two. Depends on that hype train. All right, let's get these runners go. All right, on go from three. Let's go, both these runners. Three, two, one, go. All right, let's go. Both runners are on their way. Rupert gonna be starting first, Dave Lindo, starting second. Here we go. Oh, Rupert already bumping on the overworld map. Very unfortunate, but it should be okay. Nice, both runners. I'm pretty sure both runners, or I think just Dave Lindo has done all three seasons so far. He's done all three seasons. And just like that, the turtle jump, man. The dang did turtle jump. Hate the turtle jump. Hate the turtle jumps. All right, level two here. You're gonna get early P speed. Looks like both runners are. Oh, Dave just missed it. Very nice job on Rupert's side. Gets the early P speed. And we're gonna find out who's practiced the most. That is the most important question. Who has practiced the most? We, we don't know. All right, Rupert is going to go for the Fortress. Dave Lindo follow right behind. Hammer Brother movements aren't really playing a big role here. Nice, both runners getting early P speed. Going to watch out for the Waffle. Nice, Rupert with a quick Leaf Grab. Dave Lindo also with the quick Leaf Grab. Wow, very nice job. Very nice job from both runners. They're both going to be heading up to 1-5 here. They're both going to be heading up to 1-5. First point to get is the MFP Tunnel. Let's see if they can get it. Rupert's gonna go first. Oh, Rupert almost gets it. Dave Lindo gonna go second. Oh my God. And they both take damage and they probably both think that their opponent didn't take damage. Rupert missing the card, allowing Dave Lindo to catch right up there. Right on each other's tails right now. This is awesome. Right on each other's tails. Uh, Rupert's gonna get an unfortunate Hammer Brother movement where Dave Lindo is in a better position here. He's gonna have to grab that backup mushroom. Oh, Dave Lindo missing it a bit. He's not gonna get the early P speed. He's gonna have to go for the rebuild. And he does get it back. Very nice. He's not in the lead yet. Rupert also not getting the early P speed. Very finicky. But Rupert does get it in one turn back where Rupert had to get in two. So Rupert might catch up a little bit here. Although Dave is going to get the Fire Flower through the Hammer Brother, which is really good. Nice, gonna grab the chest. Rupert's gonna go to the Mushroom House, been practicing. Nice, I love to see it, Rupert. Is he gonna get the Leaf? Who's getting the Leaf? Rupert gets it. Does Dave get it? Dave's gotta get it, right? That's how it's gonna work. Oh, and the Mushroom, the worst. So Rupert has a back pocket point right now. Rupert's got the back pocket point. How's that scam train going? We getting scammed or what? All right, who do you guys think is gonna win this? Are we doing a, are we gonna do a prediction on who you guys think is gonna win? I don't know who it's gonna be. Who is it gonna be? Who it's gonna be? <laughs> nice, so Dave Lindo is behind by maybe just a couple seconds here, not too much. Very nice.
<laughs> All right, both runners entering world two. Very, very close to each other. Um, I don't know about the throne jumps, but uh, we can just watch from here, and if they don't get it, then they don't get it. Rupert with the throne jump. Okay, okay, Rupert's got throne jumps on lockdown here. Both runners at 2-1. Oh, Rupert messing up a little bit where Dave Lindo is not messing up. It's going to allow him to catch up just a little bit. This race is insane so far. Look at how close these guys are. Oh, man, they're close. All right, are they both going to spade card game? Rupert, oh, I, was, I thought Dave Lindo wasn't. All right, they're going to look at their cheat sheet. Nice, and Dave Lindo gets the same ones that Bowtie was getting. Both runners nailing it. As soon as Rupert figured out which card it was, he was just nailing the, the flips here. Dave Lindo gonna try and secure some points here. A cheat sheet is totally okay to use, guys. There's, there's nothing stopping you from using cheat sheet. He gets mushrooms and he's just gonna end the card now. Oh, and Dave Lindo takes the lead there. Wow, that was incredible. All right. Oh, gets the rejected bump back. You got to not fall in the moat of tears here, guys. And not land in the water. Both runners look to be doing pretty good. Very nice. No moat of tears. Dave Lindo is going to lose time, though. He did get the bump off the little bouncy block. Uh, hitting the hitting the leaf out there. And he's, you know, you don't want to keep going. You don't want to keep going. So it makes sense. All right, Rupert. Dave Lindo with much better RNG. Rupert with the early P speed is going to allow him to, to, to keep the lead, but Dave Lindo catching up. All right, look at how close. They've been close the entire race. And they're with the same points. It's all. Is anyone going to fail the red rocket? How's that going to go? Neither runner has taken damage yet. Nice, yeah, take it nice and slow. Very close to each other. Oh, man. Dave Lindo gets better RNG. Backwards or forwards, bro? Oh, he's gonna avoid it. He's not gonna go for it. And we're gonna get Red Rocket here from both of our runners. Ho, oh, ho, I don't, what? I, no? Is that... That's a no for Rupert, right? He used the green shell, not the red shell. That is unfortunate. That is going to give Dave the lead. So what happened there was... The shell went inside... So, you know how, you know how Mario can clip inside the blocks? Well, shells can also clip inside the blocks. So what happened was, is Rupert's shell clipped inside the block and it hit the block as if the, the shell was on top of it when the, when the block registered. So it bounced the shell, stopping it from moving. Alright, Dave Lindo with the strat. Everyone wants to give him the point, we'll give him the point. But he didn't use the red shell, that's very unfortunate. The game was unfair, not the point system tournament. So we'll give him the point, although I highly disagree with it. It's something that happens. Um, no one's ever seen it before, but give him the point. Unfortunately, Rupert is taking damage though, so he's not going to be eligible for the get the point after World 3. Um, and Dave Lindo did get a forward moving bro. All right. Um, I don't know if Rupert's first Hammer Brother was forward or backwards.
No throne jump for Dave Lindo. Hold on a sec. Did Rupert stomp the shell or did the shell clip into the block and bounce? Because if Rupert stomped on the shell, then that is directly his fault. I can't watch it right now. All right, very nice. Unfortunately, Rupert is behind a little bit. So many sus points this year. I mean, it doesn't say in the rules that for Red Rocket to be official, it has to go inside the hole. He has to use the shell to break the blocks. <sighs> All right, I'll watch it. It's going to it's going to block the screen. All right, let's see here. We got we have time. Now's a great time. Rupert stomped the shell. Rupert stomped the shell. So he stopped the shell from going and the shell didn't actually break any of the bricks. It was Rupert who stopped the shell. So the point is in fact taken away from him. I thought it clipped. If it clipped, that would make sense. That would be kind of like robbed from him, but it didn't clip. Rupert stopped the shell, stopping the red rocket from working. There you go. Thank you guys for slowing it down for me. I was going to give him the point, but the replay is... The replay helps a lot. The rules don't say that you have to get the shell in there. The rules say you have to use the shell. And everyone knows how the red rocket works. All right. And the fact that I had to go through all of this on stream, I miss... I keep missing everything... Did Dave Lindo get the frame jump at the start? I don't know. Because I have to play parent and teacher at the same time. Okay. So we'll see if Rupert gets it here. If Rupert gets it, then it's very important for Dave Lindo. It's very important. Dave Lindo almost getting runaway, bro. He is at the cusp. Rupert does get the frame perfect jump at the start of 3-1. So it's very important. It's very important to know if Dave Lindo did get it. Dave Lindo falls in the water, but doesn't lose Fire Flower. Oh, he just lost it. And Rupert has already lost his Fire Flower. Um, so neither runner is eligible for that. Neither runner is eligible. Dave Lindo does get Runaway Bro, though. Holy crap. And we need to know if Lindo got the frame jump. Lindo did not get the frame jump. That is going to be very good. That means Rupert does get the shared point right there. Dave Lindo having a little bit of trouble here in the 3-3. Rupert making it through 3-2. Very nice from both of our runners. Dave Lindo already getting runaway, bro. Rupert does have two throne jumps. Ah, oh, Rupert was close to run away. All right, is Dave going to go for door four? Now, Rupert does have a leaf in his inventory. Oh, Dave Lindo gets the door four. Very nice. And Rupert does have, I, I think it's Rupert who's got the leaf in his inventory. One of these runners has the pocket, has the pocket point. Very nice. All right, so now Rupert needs to get some... Oh, Rupert's almost run away. Dave Lindo's hammer brother comes back. So I don't know if this is the right play for Dave Lindo here. Let's see if Rupert gets door four as well. Oh, like for, for a frame of my life, I thought he got it. Oh, Dave Lindo gets the coin ship and the hammer brother runs back. So he's going to be losing a point. He's losing them as fast as he's getting them. Very unfortunate for the coin ship there. It is what it is, though. It happens. And Rupert also gets run away. And just like that, they are tied up in points. Wow, this is insane. 
So Dave Lindo's gonna have to... He's gonna have to die here. He's gonna have to die. Music boxing them was the right play, or... Or he clouds across level 7. Hopefully he doesn't get screwed over here. Oh, he got screwed. He's gotta go. He's just gotta bite the bullet here. Oh man, unfortunately that's gonna give him the inventory star. And we do have to take a point away from dying. Very unfortunate. Ah, yeah, it's... Not much you can do about it. So is he going to beat? No, no, it looks like he knows how to die in the auto scroller. This is going to be good for him. This isn't going to be too bad. Not the end of the world. Rupert can't get the no damage point. Uh, Rupert missed the H jump. So there's a little bit of room here. Oh, and Dave not getting the death. At this point, I'm wondering if he should just complete it. What do you guys think? Does Twitch chat think he should complete it? I don't think so. I think he's in a good spot here. I Maybe he should have completed it so he didn't take the death there. Because he's got the two deaths and coin ship. Now he's not eligible for the star either. Um, and Rupert didn't fight any Hammer Brothers in this world. Uh, so unfortunately... Alright, Dave Lindo's got that extra power up. Nice, he's gonna use it. Oh, almost get- Oh, he almost gets the wall jump too! Very nice. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing worse than trying to die on the on the uh, the coin ship auto scroller and not being able to. All right, he's made it on. That's good. That's good. He's made it on. Nice. Rupert going for the stomp kill here with Fire Flower. Very interesting thing to see here. Um, maybe, maybe he doesn't feel comfortable with it. I'm not sure. Maybe he doesn't feel comfortable, which would make sense. I mean, whatever's comfortable for the runners should definitely be what they decide to do. All right. Rupert's got a couple points here on the board. He's got one of the shared points. This is really fun. And now he's got World 4. He's got to do bottom speed. Maybe he gets a marathon and duck jumps in 4-6. Wish him luck, guys. Wish him luck. We got Dave Lindo also coming up here, finishing the auto scroller. He's not out just yet. He's only behind by two points, uh, and he's not in the lead for time, but anything can happen. Dave Lindo going for the fire kill. Wendy being a jerk gets it. Rupert gets bottom B speed. With the swag turn back, and just like that, Rupert's got the bottom P speed. Very nice. All right, here we go, Rupert. Four, two. Very nice. Dave Lindo, not too far behind, has an opportunity to get a point here in 4-1. Not going to get the point. Definitely, we, we did see the same thing happen to Bowtie in the last race. 
Um, and the objective there is definitely to uh, body rub up against the pipe there by the waterfall. Um, and that will allow you to prime the P-Speed, get it, and you'll swim slow, but you'll still have your P-Speed. Dave Lindo not gonna be able to get that point. He does get pretty decent Hammer Brother RNG here, though. See if he goes for the despawn strat, the shoot of the second turtle. He does get it, very nice. Gets the block grab, and Rupert with the movement of four. Not a movement of Frigg. Oh, Rupert, oh, going a little slow there. He's gonna have to wait. Gonna have to wait it out. He's, yep, he's gonna get through. Duck jump past this guy, get a little build up. Nice. Very nice. Nice. Dave Lindo with a great hammer, brother RNG, right here. Considering he has the hammer, uh, he should be able to catch up a little bit to Rupert. Rupert is not as far ahead as you think. Dave Lindo has the hammer to skip the fortress. Rupert has not fought his Cloud Bro yet. This could be really bad for him later. It could be ultra bad. Very nice on Dave Lindo's side. He secures it and kills it. Oh, Rupert almost gets sniped there. Very unfortunate. And just like that, Dave Lindo is almost in the same level uh, as Rupert at the same time. He's got the hammer. Uh, did Rupert get the switch there? No, he got the cloud. He's good to go. Dave Lindo not getting the P speed at the start of 4 4. Not too bad. Rupert is going to have to use. This is a very uncomfortable situation for every SMB3 speedrunner. Rupert going for all the duck jumps. Looking good. Oh, the swag, Rupert. The swag. Oh, he's been practicing. He's killing it. The last jump. Yes, he does make it very nice on Rupert's side. Not exactly what he wanted to do, but just like that, look at Dave Lindo in the same level. Got to do the same tricks. Uh, Rupert is in a very uncomfortable position right here, mainly because if that Hammer Brother moves back up, he's in an awkward spot. Dave Lindo killing it with the... No, and he let go of down. He's going to miss the duck jumps. But in terms of time, he is catching up, guys. Dave Lindo is crazy catching up right now. All right, so Rupert can get some really, really unlucky stuff here. And unfortunately, he does. The question is, he should not use another music box. If this is a star, that is great for Dave Lindo. And it's the P-Wing. That is amazing for Rupert. That's really good. So Rupert should probably not go for the 5-1. Should probably not go for the 5-1. No runner using their lifeline just yet. Dave Lindo caught up pretty quickly, yeah. Look at them, they're they're very close. He's not far behind at all. The hands would change this already. When, when the hands can change the outcome of the run during the whole race, you know the race is good. Uh, no. Dave Lindo has unfortunately taken two deaths, so he would have seven. Um, and Dave missed... He missed, uh... He missed the duck jumps just by a hair, and then he missed bottom P-Speed just by a little bit. So Dave Lindo would actually be in the lead for points right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, both runners on the world four. It's an opportunity for me to rest my voice a little bit.
Ooh, Rupert with a random jump. That sucks. All right, Dave Lindo, not far behind. This is crazy. He is not far behind at all. I love this. I love these close races. In terms of time, if Dave Lindo can sweep in and take some of the points away from Rupert and take them for himself in terms of time, uh, this could gear up for a very interesting race too. Nice, Rupert not using P-Wing strategies, which is a very good idea for him. Uh, meanwhile, Dave Lindo has to use these. He does want to get the extra music box here so we can have uh, safety saves. The safety saves. So he is going to go. Oh, he can fly through. Yes, I love seeing the full body fly through. That doesn't even make any sense. Mario should be two tiles high there. I don't know why that works. That's so messed up. Rupert missing his jump. Not going to go for the shaft, right? No, nope, he's not going to go for it. That is a good decision right there for Rupert. Um, I guess the scary part for Rupert is he already has... He already has his Fire Flower, so he's susceptible to losing it way faster than Dave. This could make up a big, big deal here. Now, I don't know if Dave got the movement of four here, but... It's, it's easy to tell. I should be able to tell. I'm pretty good with the World 5. The World 5. Alright, moving on to World 5. Lots of point dishing out here. Rupert with his first movement of four. That is really good for him. And Dave Lindo not getting movements of four. No music box done by Rupert here. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see a music box here from Dave. Oh, Dave's going fast here. He must think he's behind. He's not behind by that much. So what Dave needs to see is Rupert... Mess up the big jump in 5-4. Five, five, that would be a double point loss for Rupert. Rupert not getting a second movement of 4. That was a movement of 3. Going to use a music box. It's going to allow us to confirm that. It's going to allow us to confirm that. Dave Lindo not getting a movement of slip and slaps. I don't, I don't know what to say. A movement of 17. A movement of glib glaps. Oh, Dave getting the star. He already got the star from World 3, so that's not the end of the world. So he's going to be able to secure these Hammer Brothers. Going to cause him to go down a little bit in time here. Rupert not getting the... So Rupert uses Music Box. Hmm. 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 Ooh, Dave Lindo, was that a movement of four? No, Rupert getting hit with the movements of three. Rupert has one movement of four, though. Is Rupert going to go for the big turtle jump here? And he is. He's going to make it. He does make it. Very nice on Rupert's side. Big turtle jump. Holy kablingi. Not a movement of four, man. All right, he's got to get the early P-Speed here. And he does get it! Very nice. He equips the Leaf here, which is actually kind of good. It's going to cause him to not have to worry about taking damage with the Fire Flower. And he can pick it up later. Is that a strat that Rupert's been working on? Has he been, has he been tricking everyone with these strats? Oh, Dave Lindo, you're not going to make it! No! Dave Lindo does not make it. He's going to have to take that death, unfortunately. And that is the riskiness of it. That is the riskiness of it. One attempt allowed. Oh no. Oh, he made it though. Oh, and Rupert loses his Fire Flower. We're gonna have to take that point away from Rupert. He got Fire Flower and then he got it taken away. No, if Dave Lindo didn't lose that point, if he would have got it. If he doesn't get early P-Speed here, Rupert gets another point. Oh, and he doesn't get it. Rupert's going to get that shared early P-Speed points. Insane right there. Rupert's going to get the music box. Got no coin ship, no movements of four yet. 
Dave Lindo, still no movements of four either. No. That's okay, he got rid of all of his Hammer Brothers, though. Oh, Rupert almost taking the death there. Way too scary on Rupert's side. Nice, he knows that he's got to do his turnbacks. Nice. Oh, and Dave Lindo getting a little mess up there. Nice, Rupert's coming back. All right, so what? Dave Lindo actually lost his Fire Flower in World 5. Um, so that is bringing him down quite a bit of points. Very nice on Rupert's side. Yes, Dave Lindo lost his Fire Flower in... 5-4 uh, when he died. So it's a combo, it's a combo outcome. Oh wait! But that's not true, Dave Lindo didn't have a Fire Flower, that's right, he has not lost it yet. That's right, Dave Lindo didn't get Fire Flower until 5-7. That's right. I'm trying to debate myself. Nice, Dave Lindo again, still not that far behind. If he didn't take that death, he'd be good. He would be good. Yeah, he's going for the swag kills. Very nice. Very nice. Both runners are going to be on the airship at the same time. As always, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. the airship first already lost his fire flower so not crazy stressful all right just like that he's going to grab the 131 32 exactly finishing world five right on dave lindo here has not lost his fire flower yet let's keep it that way dave let's keep it that way all right he's up there he should be safe he unfortunately was not able to get many points here. He had a little bit of a slowdown after World 3. He's got to pick it back up by World 6. He's got to pick it back up by World 6. Should go for the stomp kill. Yeah, go for the stomp kill. Stay safe. Very nice. Last one. And he gets it. He almost took damage there, guys. He almost took damage. I. What is Rupert going to get first? High or low? He's gonna get high pattern. Very nice. All right, Rupert getting high pattern first. Let's see how his twisty castle goes. Very nice. Rupert, I think, is still the world record holder for all 500%. Uh, well, like 2D, uh, the retro, the, the all stars, right? Insane, man, having all five 100% world records. That's a four hour category. Why does Dave Lindo not have a hammer? Why does. Dave Lindo not have a hammer here. This doesn't make any sense. He fought he fought the hammer in World 2 and he fought the Hammer Brothers in World 3. He had two hammers. Oh, wrong level. Oh, he went to the wrong level. Oh, the fall apart. The fall apart with the with the marathon. No, Dave Lindo. Why does he not have a hammer?
Yeah, but he ha he had a hammer from World 2 and World... Didn't he fight the Hammer Brother in World 2 for the hammer? Oh no, and he takes another death. Unfortunate race one here, getting a little wrecked here. And we missed it, we missed it. Did Rupert get high and low? Was Rupert's previous bro a low bro? Did Rupert just get low bro or not low bro? Like we were stuck on Dave's, Dave's screen for so long there, it was very hard to tell. We were all focused on Dave Lindo there. So Rupert got high and low pattern. All right, Dave Lindo's got low pattern here. So Rupert did get high and low. All right, Rupert got high and low. He didn't get unlucky. Is he gonna use his leaf in this level? He does remember to use his leaf. He is going to get his leaf in this level. Very nice for Rupert. All right, Dave Lindo's gonna wipe off that dust. Walk away with beating this world. Oh no, okay, he's good. Very nice, gonna grab the star. Gonna finish up, Rupert's gonna go for first try wall jump. Oh, he got the pixel, but missed the jump. He got the pixel, but missed the jump. All right, Dave, you're coming in hot, man. You're coming back from this. Another marathon for Dave. The, the, the bros, man, the game will just not let up on him. All right. Dave Lindo's first bro was low, so he needs to get a high bro here. A high bro. Rupert getting the pixel, but not the jump. Come on, 6'9". Oh, Dave almost got launched down. Rupert is going to opt out to actually do the level. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Nice. He's going to swim up. This is more of a Super Mario World level anyways. This is what Rupert wants. Rupert confused, hasn't done this level in a long time. Doesn't actually know exactly where to go here. Can't figure it out. Now he knows, now he knows where he's going. All right, he's out of there. Very nice for Rupert, very nice for Rupert. Gonna allow Dave Lindo to catch up a little bit. Uh, but we need to see Dave get a high pattern. He got low pattern first. He needs to fight the Hammer Brother to his right. Not this one, unfortunately. But he did get low pattern, so he does get high and low Hammer Brothers. A Rupert has a Fire Flower. I don't think he's going to risk it, right? Is he? Maybe? Maybe not? Oh, no. Rupert. That's okay. Not the end of the world. And Dave Lindo's going to get his Cloud. Very nice. Now he's got a hammer. Look at now he's got a hammer. Yes. Gonna be able to get through. <gasps> Ooh, takes the death with the leaf falling down. That that happens when you don't get a good build of speed there. So he's gonna probably use a mushroom. Then he can grab a leaf if he uses a mushroom. Yeah, if he Okay, okay, he's gonna grab the mushroom and then kind of slow it, slow it down a little bit here. Yeah, let the let the let the thwomp go. Yeah, the unfortunate six deaths. So what from from what I've seen from Dave Lindo in the past is that he he might have forgotten that he signed up for this tournament and Rupert's messaging him, hey, when you want to race, when you want to race, might have slipped his mind, and then Dave Lindo didn't want to cancel. So maybe he only has about a week of practice instead of three weeks. Um, which is pretty rough. Dave Lindo's a great player. It looks like all he's lacking was just a little bit of practice here, a couple deaths. Uh, here and there, which is normal for runners. I mean, a lot of people take deaths no matter how much they practice. Um, it's easy to die in this game. Um, but some of the decision making seems like he's not 100% uh, fresh with the, uh, with the race so far. But he is still securing some seasonal points. So that right there, like he knows about the wall jumps. Like he did, he has practiced a little bit. He's definitely practiced a little bit.
And if he gets wall jump first try, well, let me tell you. Right there. I'm gonna go for the wall jump here. Oh, I jumped a little too low there. Oh, there we go. He's jumping a little too low. He's got to give it that full big jump. There we go. Right in the wall there. He had the pixel there. He got the pixel again. Gets the wall jump. So he's definitely going to save a little bit of time back on Rupert. But he is a little too far behind right now um, for us to know for sure if he can catch up. Uh, it's a little tough to tell. Rupert's going to go for the 7-1 here. Let's see if he gets it. 7-1 first try, Rup. I've seen you do a first try before. Oh, Dave Lindo with the death again. And back down to one point. Rupert's going to get 7-1. Not first try. Very nice try from Rupert, though. Nice. And Rupert does get it. Very nice. Dave Lindo not getting the clip, unfortunately. Nice, using the star here. Dave Lindo a little bit of ways behind. That death would definitely set him back just a little bit here. Uh, this, this is Dave Lindo's practice run. He's going to come in hot with 15 points for next race. Oh, does Rupert get pipe to pipe? Rupert does get pipe to pipe. Very nice. It seems, it seems that Dave Lindo is him, like, it's himself that's preventing it with the, with the seven deaths, the coin ship. Very unfortunate, man. He was doing so well at the start. He was doing so good. I mean, he can still bring it, man. He can still bring it. I always have faith for the underdogs. Always. All right, Rupert not getting punished in 7-3. That is a that is a love to see it moment. So Rupert did not get any inventory stars. I don't think. I'm sure chat will let me know, but I don't think Rupert got any inventory stars considering he only has one star in his inventory. So I don't think he has that. Right? I don't think he got inventory stars from the Hammer Brothers. Skip World 3, put the Sleep World 4, got the P-Wing... Put the Sleep World 5, that's right, and got lucky in World 6, so he did not get it. And Rupert is on his way for the 183. Alright, Dave Lindo gonna go for the stomp pattern. Rupert gonna take damage, try and work on his sub-pixel manipulation here. No, he doesn't want to move left. Oh, he gets 182! Damn, the, the Boom Boom stomps are definitely what took it from him there. Uh, no box either, let's see if he gets 7-6 first try. Oh, he gets 7-6 first try. Rupert would have 15 points right now if he didn't. Oh, man, it was the boom boom stomps. It was the boom boom stomp, man. If he would have stomped him a little bit better, grabbed that orb a little bit faster, he would have had the 183. Very nice. Now all we need to worry about is the bumps on Rupert's side. So far, no bumps or bonks. Maybe 7-7 seven, seven might be the right level it is. Rupert is playing to win. All right, Dave Lindo going to go for 7-1 first try right here. Ah, oh, and he jumped a little too early. He cannot afford to lose any more time here. He really needs to clean up this World 7 if he wants to get under 60 minutes. I think just a little too many deaths on his side. 7-1 not working here. Rupert is taking damage. Don't die. I've seen Rupert die in this level in his temps. I've seen him die in that level in his temps before. All right, Dave Lindo. Dave Lindo and Bowtie are the two players so far that have struggled the most with the 7-1. No bumps. No bumps for Rupert. Has way too many P-Wings. Rupert has way too many P-Wings. Very nice for Dave Lindo. Get the 7-1. He's probably sitting back saying, finally, this freaking 7-1 garbage. Oh, Rupert going for mid-clip. Not quite getting it. Yeah, 
He's not going to grab the Fire Flower, which makes me think he's going to grab it on the airship. No bumps from Dave Lindo yet either. Dave Lindo can bring some points back. Ah, oh, Rupert with the bump! No! Rupert with the bump! Not going to be able to get that point. Rupert with the bump, man. All right, we got we got people watching. All right, we might as well have Dave Lindo audio here. Listen for those bonks. Here we go. Let's not get punished. Looking pretty good so far. Nice. Not going to get punished. Very nice. That turn back is so risky there. I don't know. Oh, man. I would. Oh, man. First bonk section. Nice. Gonna enter first. Then use a P wing. Oh, he's not gonna go for the P wing point. That's okay. He hasn't bonked yet. Now, is he gonna go for damage boost? and try and get 7-6, or is he just gonna use this other P-Wing and get the heck out of there? Oh, he's gonna take damage. He's gonna go for sub-pixel manipulation. No, nope, there's not much he can do about it. Uh, luckily with 7-6, there's a high range of sub-pixels that work, so that's good. Oh, and he jumped too early. And too early again, the wasted attempts. We saw Bowtie getting caught up with that a little too much. The early jumps is just a full on waste because the times when you get good sub pixels might be when you mess up the jumps. Really got to work on those perfect jumps into the corner. Very nice though. Dave Lindo does get it. Uh, we've seen a lot of people suffering from the early jump for standing clip, which is something you don't have to worry about if you go for duck clip. So it's a um, double edged sword situation. No box yet for Dave Lindo. Rupert losing his Fire Flower, not getting stunned though. Very nice for him. And Dave Lindo is going to be able to do 7-7 and get the heck out of there. This is going to be rough for Dave Lindo to get a sub-60, but I think he's still technically in the range of a sub-60. Nice, yes, I want to see him get that star. Oh, let go up down too early, but he's in the clear. He is in the clear. Very nice, Rupert is on the airship auto scroller land thingy majiggy. No bumps from Dave yet. He's going to grab his fire flower in here, and then we're going to see. Nice, not doing clips, thank goodness. Oh no. Well, he might as well go for one of them if that guy's going to be there. Oh, he's going to go for them all together. Get out of there. Get out of there. Don't do it. No, leave it alone. I hate 7-9. Yes, the best decision you've ever made in your life. That is the best decision you've ever made, ever. Thank you. Almost getting that side clip. That's, that's a good clip. Taking the damage there, that's okay. There's another one that he can grab. Not going for the season two point. Nice, gonna grab this fire flower instead of grabbing the fire flower on the airship. Rupert taking damage, it looks like. Unfortunately, it looks like Dave Lindo is out of 50 range. Looks like he's out of 50 range. No bump for Dave, though. No bump for Dave. Very nice. No bump from Dave. That's very nice. Oh, 
Oh man, so so Dave he could definitely not get the sub 60 here. He was doing so well at the start, man. Gosh. He's doing so well at the start. Rupert not gonna go for the Fire Flower in this level and gonna equip it first. Not sure if I would have done that same play in case he loses it at some point in World 8. Preferably after the Fortress. He now doesn't have a Fire Flower to equip. Um, but again, you can't hold people accountable for some of the decisions they make during races because they don't know exactly the right move all the time. All he knows is that if he equips a Fire Flower here, he's got it and he can boom boom kill, right? That might be the number one decision here. Auto scrollers, auto scrollers. <laughs> Gives me a chance to rest my rest my voice here. <laughs> All right, Rupert up against the hands. Ninety nine point nine percent chance for this hand. Very nice. Oh, hand number two for Rupert. Hand number two. Can we get the three hands for Rupert? Can we get the three hands for Rupert? Oh, it tries to go for the clip. I like it. Ah! <laughs> Rupert getting all three hands. That is a you hate to see it moment. Wow, game. Wow. Way to be an asshole, game. He did a damn good job for each hand, though. Gotta give him that. No hands for Dave Lindo would be really good here. <laughs> Some people might win a lot of points if Dave gets... If Dave gets no hands... I don't know what we're dealing with here with terms of point spread here. A oh, one hand, so you guys need to get one more hand here. Well, Dave's not quite there yet. All right, Rupert up with the combo point here. 289 and 291 combo with 81 and 82. Very nice P-Speed build and management here for Rupert on his side, and it looks like he is going to get the 289. 289, very nice. 289 or higher for A1. Now he has to, without only without messing up, one try. 291 in 8-2. Let's see if he gets it. Nice! He's being very smart with it. He's being very smart. He's got it. That's it. He's got it. Because points change every season to keep it fresh. 
Nice. He's going to use his star and get his fire flower. I don't think Rupert went to the mushroom house to get the hammer suits. He's going to go for the conveyor P speed. Oh, he almost got it. He ran a little too much on that bottom conveyor. Come on, guys. Everyone say it. Conveyor. 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 Right on. He does make one cycle and he's in there. <laughs> All right, Dave Lindo. So one hand and people win a lot. Is it? Is it four hands total? Rupert got three. Dave only needs to get one. At least four hands, huh? Oh, there it is. That's four. Ooh, this is going to be risky. It's at least four, right? No way. We just had a race with two no hands. Are we going to get a race with three all hands or two all hands? We got five hands so far. This is crazy. Five hands total. Oh, Dave taking damage on the airship. Yeah, with like World Eight is a lot of a lot of auto scrollers here. Dude. All right, Rupert's gonna go for fire kill Bowser. Let's see what he gets here. Oh, he gets the clip. Rupert with a season, was that season one points? Is that season two points? Oh, Rupert getting a little scared there. His fear is what almost caused him to mess up. Nice. Bowser looks like he's going to do the full right jump. Yep. So Rupert's got to wait a little bit here. All right. Dave Lindo accessing 8-1 and 8-2. He needs to get the combos here. Rupert with the very unique fire kill here. Not much. Oh, he's going to have to get the... Oh, he could have got stuck in there. Dave Lindo, he's got 289. Oh, it just changed for Dave Lindo. It just changed, man. Very nice for Rupert GG with a 57-56. Right there on the clock for Rupert. 57-56. No lifelines yet. Rupert's going to clock in with a 57-56. 15 total points. Second place for Dave Lindo. Dave Lindo is not going to be able to make the sub 60, so he is unfortunately at minus one. And, uh, and in this situation, Dave Lindo is technically allowed to not opt in for a second race. Most runners don't do it, um, and I don't think he will. Yeah, being in the negative after your first race allows you to pretty much back down if you want to, but nobody does. Um, but I wouldn't hold it against anybody if they did. Oh, he gets early conveyor B speed. He is not at minus one. He is at zero anymore. Nice try, Dave. Trying to get out of game two, huh? Not gonna happen. You don't have negative there, Mr. Bub. I mean, if he wants out, he can still get out. And everyone's got freedom to do whatever they want. I can't force people to race.
If he stops now, it's not a forfeit because he knows the next level takes over a minute. It's it's entirely up to him what he chooses to do. Let's see what happens here. All right, the one hour mark. So anything that happens after this, including that death, does not matter. He knows that. This is his third season. He does know. All right, five minute break for both these runners. Uh, Dave Lindo's just kind of talking about talking about his stuff. He's gonna do race two. All right, everyone, take your little five minute break. Stretch your legs, grab a drink, do what you gotta do. We have a second race coming up. Alright, be right back in just a sec. How's it going, boys and girls? How you guys doing? We got race two coming up, and they're just taking it. There is a race tomorrow, yes. 2 p.m. Eastern. So I don't think it's really good when an announcer eats food, so I'm gonna... I have to eat a little bit of food here. No, I can't share anything with season four, guys.
Big, my big fuck in Bork. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna start. We're gonna start the race, and then I'm gonna mute just for a little bit. Watch the race, and I just want to eat a little bit of my food, and then we'll get the race going. It's gonna be very tough for Dave Lindo to catch up here, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the second race when these runners put on a good show. Haha, <laughs> Rupert with the silly stuff. All right, both runners are ready. Is Twitch chat ready? That's the important question. All right, here we go. All right. Three, two, one, go! All right, I'm gonna quick, quick, quick bite, guys. Quick bite. And we're gonna watch together. I'm gonna watch with you guys. I finally got to see a throne jump, guys. <clears throat> I just have to be eating a sandwich to, to, to see the throne jump, right? That's all I have to do now.
Almost done, guys. Speed running my dinner. I don't know, man. I don't know. Rupert definitely got it, but Dave Lindo still used the red shell, whereas last time Rupert didn't use the red shell, he used the green shell. So technically, Dave still got it. He still used the red shell. Insane. Yes, Dave Lindo getting the hammer, but he is skipping the other hammer brother, so he's not eligible. And here goes Rupert. Does he get foot backwards, bro? 
Oh, he doesn't get it. Damn, dude. Guys, I'm so I'm I'm so sorry that I was quiet there for a minute. I I really needed to I really needed to throw down some of that food. Nice. Rupert make it. Rupert with two throne jumps. And I have to give I have to give the Red Rocket to Dave Blindo. He brought it there and used it. Well, last time Rupert did bring it there, it did stop, but he didn't end up using the shell anyways. Right on. So they are on the World 2 airship. Looking good, looking good. Uh, both runners pretty equal in points. I did notice that they both got their 10 spade game points. Very nice. Both on the airship. Let's go. Now it's time to work on the, the shared points. The only thing that I don't know for sure, did Rupert lose his fire flower yet? Uh, I feel like he hasn't, and obviously Dave has. What is in those crates? What is in those crates? Yeah, we need to get Stewie Cartman's PhD in Red Rocket to, to come in here. Extra jug of tears. Did either runner fall? Okay, those are the only things I missed. Did either runner fall in the mode of tears? And did Rupert lose his fire flower? And I don't think either you guys would scream at me. Bloody hell if somebody fell on the moat. <clears throat> All right, Rupert going for frame jump. Oh, he doesn't get it this time. This is a good opportunity. Good opportunity for Dave Lindo to tie up the points here. And I think Ru Rupert has his back pocket point right now. Oh, Dave does not get it. Rupert has his back pocket point. All right, Rupert taking it slow. He doesn't want to take damage here. Oh man, that one fish had no idea what was happening to him. Fish had no idea what was happening to him. You have to fill in the race one point. Nah, I don't gotta do that now, we're fine. No runaway for Rupert. Dave Lindo coming in next. If Dave Lindo can get that runaway, bro, this would be good for the points. Dave Lindo not quite coin ship. Looks like Rupert is close to coin ship. That was so close. Rupert has not lost Fire Flower yet. We are confirmed with that. Oh, Dave Lindo with the movement of four, getting trolled. Not a runaway though. He's definitely not close to runaway either. Oh, and there goes Rupert taking the damage. All you guys out there who say that this fortress is free, how dare you? How dare you? That is a very valid thing that can happen to any runner. Underestimating your distance and then getting hit by that death waffle. That happens all the time. I, I'm not cursing any matches. They're cursing themselves. Dave Lindo didn't take damage, so how free is it? Oh, he doesn't get door four. He got it last time. <clears throat> Holy crap. Is Rupert going to get the very last possible runaway, bro? Actually, what's interesting is that you can get runaway, bro after the last Hammer Brother too, right? You can fight a Hammer Brother and then that Hammer... 
Oh, Rupert does that. I forgot, man. He gets me every time with that. And Dave Lindo not getting runaway. Not going to be going for the... Ah, oh, Rupert also not getting runaway, but he does save the music box. Very nice on Rupert's side. He does save the music box. That is going to be really good for him. Oh, he does get in there. Dave Lindo not taking the scary part. All right, just like that, Dave Lindo's gonna go down and fight that bro, and Rupert is going to do the 3 9. Ooh, he just makes it over! Dave Lindo making it through, looking good. Save the H! Rupert almost getting. Yeah, first race was 15, 15 and 0. Let's see. Well, now we have time. Dave Lindo getting the age jump. Very nice. Dave Lindo is already having a way better race two than he did with race one, unfortunately. Um, people are getting a little testy here. So let's go ahead and add in the scores here. I don't want people panicking. We're on to race two now. Hey, we got we to gotta keep up composure, right? We got to keep it going strong. Don't worry, we got the race points. Yeah, Dave, Dave Lindo had a very unfortunate race one uh, with some coin ship action, uh, not having the right items that he thought he had. Both positive and both negative. Did Rupert get Throne Jump? That's very important. This just in, this just in. Did Rupert get Throne Jump? I don't think so either. More singing? No thanks. No, he didn't. He's out of the throne jumps. Oh, Rupert with bottom strats. Let's go right here. Where are we? Rupert did lose Fire Flower. No runaway, bro. Didn't get frame jump. Didn't miss door four. Very unfortunate world three for him. Dave Lindo is on his way to world four as well. No runaway, bro. They both lost Fire Flower. No door four frame jump. Let's go into World 4. Rupert does get the bottom P-Speed. Very nice. Very nice job. Dave Lindo did not get World 1 thrown. Or no, he did get World 1, but I don't think Dave Lindo got World 2 thrown jump. If we could have somebody go back and actually look at Dave Lindo's thrown jumps from World 2-3, um, that would be uh, very good. Thank you very much. Because I did see Dave actually get World 1 thrown. He gets P-Speed this time, and now he makes it. Damn, you, you know how these races go? These races are always like so oh, race two is always better than race one sometimes, but then sometimes race one is way too close and then race two falls off. It's like so hard to tell sometimes. So hard to tell sometimes. Oh, Rupert taking damage. He's going to get the bonk there. 
Very nice. I think Rupert still has his back pocket. Back pocket as well. Yeah, he's got his back pocket with the leaf, right? No marathons yet for me, the runner. Holy crap, Rupert with the amazing fortress. That's what he tried to do last time. That was incredible by Rupert. That was very nice. Uh, Dave Lindo definitely getting a marathon here. Well, look at that. Would you look at the score now, guys? Would you look at the score now? Oh, wait, whoops. Nice try, Tracker. My tracker is all over the place. Oh, Dave Lindo taking damage in 4-3, the same as Rupert with the big jump, and he does make it very nice. Oh, Rupert double damage. Oh, no. Is Rupert going to get sniped here? This is... Yeah, take bottom sec... No! Oh, no! Okay, he's safe. He's safe. Oh, my gosh. Nice. Now Dave Lindo has the extra items. Look at that. Nice! He gets P-Speed! Rupert is going to be getting the cloud here, right? Yep, the cloud. What did you guys call them? Teeth? People call them teeth. This is weird. Oh, Rupert is at a bad music box position again! Alright, here we go. Rupert needs to keep getting points. Duck jump, duck jump, duck jump. Duck jump. He's still ducking! Dave Lindo in the same level as Rupert! With the duck jumps! Oh no! We've seen some other runners suffer from this in the past. That is unf- Oh! Smashes his head. Um, Rupert got it, right? Rupert did get it. Sorry, I stopped and looked at Dave Lindo because Dave Lindo was catching up fast. Rupert not going for the Fire Flower. Yeah, Rupert did get it. Very nice for Rupert. I just assumed he got it, but I didn't want to... Nice, Dave Lindo. Is Dave Lindo using a second music box? I don't think so. I think this is Dave's first music box. Dave will definitely catch up a little bit if Rupert is forced to fight this Hammer Brother. And these Hammer Brothers. Is it a star, though? That's the question. Wow, Rupert getting the exact same RNG and walking away with the P-Wing. Holy crap. Oh, man. Does anyone have any word on Dave Lindo's throne jumps? Uh, he didn't get that one anyways. Okay. Wow, that is incredible. All right, they're both on the amazing airship that just moves so freaking fast. Sorry guys, just gonna rest my rest my voice a little bit. Rest it up, rest it up. Alright, Dave Lindo is gonna get the leaf there. I'm guessing he just wants to be safe. That would make sense. That would make sense. Auto scrollers, more like auto garbage. Oh, 
nice. Yes, dude. They are so close to each other. Rupert trolling a bit there. Isn't it faster to jump and grab the wand? Why isn't it faster? You don't know what you're talking about. It's faster. You don't know what you're talking about. Jump for the wand is slower. You don't want to be jumped for the wand. All right, we're going to see a, a difference in route here. Rupert is going to P-Wing, and Dave Lindo is not going to P-Wing, I don't think. Oh! Both are going to take this route. Rupert with the swag backwards flying. Oh, yeah. Is he going to go back for it? Yeah, he's going back for it. Oh, they're going to meet up in the middle. Oh, they almost kissed. The two Marios. All right, Rupert is going to go for the shaft point. I already know it. I Yeah, I already know he's going for it. Yeah! I love this point. By far the best point in the game. Yeah! Let's go. Come on, Rupert. We were watching a practice, and that definitely just happened. That definitely just happened. Oh, is he gonna go for it again? Do it! Ah, oh, he's not gonna go for it again. That would have been crazy if he went for it again. Dave Lindo with a movement of four there! Dave Lindo's gonna fight the P-Wing bro here. Very nice. Choo 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 train. Do 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 do. No movement of four from either runner. And Dave Lindo is in the lead here. And Rupert's got to do all this small Mario action. He oh, Rupert with another death. And he's gonna try again a small Mario. He's got to wait. Yeah, wait your turn. Wait, did he press pause? It's just the old school speedrunning thing. I do the same thing. Oh, Dave. Always getting gated by these bros. Perhaps a star bro. He's just getting, he's, he's getting a little too many HBs right now. Not a movement of four. Just like that, Rupert catches up a little bit here. Rupert is being risky here with the small Mario only strats. Alright, Dave Lindo did this last time. This could be very scary for him. Rupert's gonna equip the leaf. No, you didn't make it, Dave! He made it! Dave made it! There's nowhere for Rupert to take. Nah, Rupert can't get the Hail Mary. Wait, what if Rupert got... No, Rupert wouldn't be able to, right? Because... Yeah. Dave Lindo with the early P speed. Where was this race won? Where? And Rupert didn't get early P speed. So now Dave Lindo has 10 points. No movements of four though. Rupert can definitely get some movements of four here. I've only heard him get one. Oh no, 
Dave Linda loses his fire flower. Man, he's his, he's his worst enemy. He always gets punished by himself. Oh wait, no, did he lose the tail there? No, he had fire flower. He lost the fire flower. Wait, did he switch from fire flower to tail? In 5-5 five, five, near the end? Or did he keep fire flower at the end of 5-5? Five, five? It was fire flower, right? Yeah, he lost the fire flower there. Yeah, regardless, he lost it there, so either way. Oh, the side rub. Rupert hasn't lost his fire flower just yet, so this is a pretty close race here. All right, Dave Lindo. Gonna do... 5-9. Rupert is just close behind. Rupert cannot lose his Fire Flower. Oh, that's right! Rupert might have accidentally used... Oh, no, I think Rupert did use the leaf that he got from the Mushroom House. So Rupert no longer has that back pocket point. And Rupert can still lose his fire flowers. So we'll leave this one open. No runners using their lifeline yet. Both on the same airship, I like it. All right, Dave Lindo has already lost his fire flower. So if Rupert loses his fire flower, then that is it. That is it. But I don't think Rupert's gonna lose his Fire Flower. He, he normally... He, he's fought these bosses a lot. Can this be race one? No, it cannot be race one because... All right, Dave Lindo has his hammer. Nice. And he's gonna start off with high pattern. <laughs> okay, he didn't take damage, I was close. All right, Rupert's turn. So Dave got high pattern. Rupert is going to get low pattern. No, both got high, so that's good. Both runners getting high patterns with the Hammer Brothers. Very nice. Who's writing my shitty jokes on this piece of paper? My my joke guy needs to come up with better jokes. I don't have a joke, guy. I wish. Dave Lindo with the star kill. Very nice. <laughs> Sorry, boss. All right, no points yet earned for the two runners. High and low pattern. Both of them got high. Oh, and Dave with the death. That was his first death of the run, I think. He was going so strong. And they are now neck and neck. 
Man, imagine this was race one. This would be crazy. All the difference in turnbacks and stuff, you can see. They, they've already swapped it back and forth like four times here. Oh, man. Oh, the switcheronies. The switcheroni donies. Very nice. Oh, they're not synced anymore? Why, why watch, right? I only watch for the sync, Mitch. Dave Lindo gonna go, Ah, oh, he wanted it. He wanted it, he's gonna lose a little bit of time here from that. He could have, he could have caught up quite a bit. Could have caught up. Not quite. Yeah, there is, there is thick and juicy sync here. So both getting top pattern, Rupert needs this hammer brother, that is correct. And Rupert got high pattern again, so he's not gonna get the difference. And Dave Lindo got high pattern again. And what is this, the star? Rup What's going on, Dave Lindo? Oh, he's trying to get odd even, but he, he doesn't have to worry. Oh, get low. No, five high patterns in a row. Bull crap. Baloney. Baloney. That's not as bad as the, the patented nine lows in a row. Nothing beats the nine lows in a row. Oh, Rupert, where'd it go, buddy? Where did the leap go? That's right. I was wondering if he was gonna realize that. That is unfortunate. He did have the leap. But then he used it in, in, uh, by four. Now that is definitely something that would get him caught against, you know, different opponents in a different situation. Right now, Rupert's got it in the bag pretty much with the 15 additional points on Dave Lindo's zero. See, we already knew that since game one. It'd be very hard for Lindo. But not a lot of runners from here on out from round two, round three kind of stuff is going to be like that. Oh, he's got to make sure he doesn't make that mistake again and not gaming it. Oh, come on, Dave. Get it, Dave. Oh, Dave, Dave, get the jump. Ah. Oh. All right, keep trying, keep trying. Come on, come on, come on. You still have time. Oh, come on. It's not giving the clip. He's getting bad sub pixels. Oh, you're right there. Come on, come on. Oh, he gets it. The sink. The sink is back, guys. The sink is back. <laughs> Rupert was so close to the fanfare. If you're not comfortable with the levels, I would... Or if you're not comfortable with the wall jumps, I would recommend doing what Rupert did. Right? What Rupert did was a way better thing than, say, what happened to Bowtie in 7-1. Bowtie could have actually beat 7-1, the inside of 7-1, two times uh, before he got the clip. And, and, you know, obviously you don't know that that's going to happen. But it just goes to show, if you're not comfortable at all with something, go with what's more comfortable. Go with what's more reliable. Upon timing it, I'm pretty sure after about 13 attempts at 7-1, it's a waste of time. Now, I played 7-1 on the inside very fast. I got good at it. But that's the point, right? That's the point to show how much faster or slower clipping is. And yeah, you have anywhere between 13 and 15 attempts, I'd say, for 7-1, and anything after that is faster. I think it's less than that. I think it might have actually been 11. So remember, the clipping in the wall takes up time as well. That is right. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, once once seven once seven one fails about fifteen times, then it becomes personal. It's like, oh, I'm not stopping until uh until I get this done. 
but Dave Lindo in the lead for time here. Type exclamation tournament, Cranky Hero. You got the calendar, you got the tracker, you got the points, and you got the rules, and you got the you got the brackets of the of the players. All those things. Ah, uh, nobody, not a single person. Not a single person has ever used a cloud in any tournament, any season, or any race. Whether it be GDQ, weekly races, mega races, points tournament races, nobody clouds 7-1. Because everyone considers 7-1 a very, very fast level if you get the clip. And that's the best way to dice it up. By the time you're in World 7, if you use your cloud for 7-1, then you have two choices. Do 7-4 or do 7-4-2. And people will always, most likely, if they're using a cloud by 7-1, they're going to do 7-4. All right, Dave Lindo first at 7-1. Come on, don't do the early jumps. Nice, he's going to go for duck jumps. Mm. Don't do those early jumps, man. You got this. Oh, he gets it. Rupert, you got to get it. Come on, Rupert. Oh! Any lifelines used yet from anyone? Oh. Haxer, you're not lifeline. Uh, Haxer used the lifeline, apparently. Get out of my DMs, Haxer. Where's my fly swatter? Yo, very nice for Dave Lindo. Where's Dave Lindo's audio? Very nice on Dave Lindo's side. Rupert does get it, though. They are very close in this race. 7-2 is going to play a huge role. Yeah, where's my... The broom and dustpan for Haxers? Sweep them under the bed. <laughs> oh, Rupert is in a very tough spot. Do the patented despawn strats. Yeah, he knows. He knows he's got to wait. Very nice, Rupert. See, Rupert is just... He just knows everything about every Mario. Yeah, you can't. It's just too... It's too hard to stop him. Dave Lindo, not going to do a turn back in this level, which is going to make me happy. Oh! With the death! With the death. He has not finished the level, so he has not put up a time yet. So he cannot be susceptible for that. But it's looking like he's going to get punished here. Hashtag Dave Lindo things. Even when I told him about the points, he, all he said was story of my life. So maybe he's used to this kind of stuff. Um, also, Rupert did not get any inventory stars in World 6. But he, he did not get high low pattern. Oh wait, yes he did. No, he didn't. We got all high. That's right. He didn't have the leaf, didn't get wall jump. Okay, sorry. I just had to make sure he got that. Uh, but Dave Lindo also taking that death and getting punished. In 7-3. No bumps or bonks yet. Dave Lindo is now in second place. Rupert's going to go for the 83. Oh, I think Dave Lindo used a P-Wing, right? Yeah, he used a P-Wing. Okay, so Rupert can get an extra point here. He's going to stop his boom booms faster. Rupert, faster. Nice. Nice, got it. Nice, and now he's back up on top of the points. Not first try. Dave Lindo does get a first try, though. Uh, he had the right jump, but he had the bad subpixel. Much better jumps from these two runners. It's a race! Race to the wall! Oh. Rupert being the more lucky and efficient jumper. And, uh, hey! Wall clips are, are luck and skill. Oh! Dave Lindo going inside the level. He's going to go for the death here. I hope he has a mushroom of something. Of some sorts. Some caliber. Oh, he's using a P-Wing. Not bad. Very good. Oh, Rupert! Oh, he should have kept going. The powerful clip. Nice. Going for it. Do, 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 
Uh, Dave Lindo used a P wing. Ooh, Dave Lindo going for the backtrack. Nice, getting that hammer suit. Now, as long as he doesn't clip in 7-9, I will be happy. Dang it. Yes. No, don't do it. Yes! No! The hammer suit! Looking at Dave Lindo's face cam, he wasn't even phased by the fact that he just lost hammer suit. I don't even know if he knows that he lost hammer suit yet. I love Dave Lindo's face cam. He's he's just gone. He's not even on the same planet right now. I love it. He's just killing it, man. I wouldn't be surprised if he had like tunes like so loud in his house or apartment right now. Just blasting it playing some Mario 3, having a good time. He's in the zone. When he exits the level, he's gonna be like, where'd my hammer suit go? What the heck? Dave Lindo's great. All right, Rupert gonna be the first one to finish World 7. No bumps or bonks from either runner unless we're told otherwise. Well, Dave Lindo's not out yet. No bonks, no bonks. Who bonked? When? Somebody bonked? Dave Lindo? Dave. Just now, I didn't see it. You guys must be listening. I didn't see it. Was it right after he quipped? That's when he bonked. He bonked the exact same spot last time. I wonder if that's just the way he moves to the fortress. I think that's how he moves there. Let me rest my voice. Bonking is very unpolite. I mean, you got people over, right? You don't need to be running around bonking all over the place. It's not how you do things. We are in auto scroller land. How's it going, guys? How you guys doing? Auto scroller, auto scroller lands, la la lands. Nice, don't forget guys, we have a race tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern. Who is racing? Good question. I can't tell you. Somebody else could tell you though. Yadokami versus Brosis tomorrow. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but Yadokami versus Brosis tomorrow is the last race of round one. Do you might know if Virtual Console on Switch is faster than emulator? No, 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 no. Virtual Console is faster than, than emulators? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Emulator runs pretty much the same speed as uh, the the original console, and nothing runs faster than the NES. No, no other, no system, no other console. No other, no other console runs fast. The Wii Virtual Console runs slower. Um, the Nintendo Switch runs slower. The Wii U Arcade probably runs slower too. Um, Tiato scam me. 
All right, both on Tank Brigade. That's pretty good. <laughs> no, unfortunately, your graphics card in your PC is not going to help you play Mario 3 faster. Oh, Dave Lindo taking damage on the auto-scroller, but these runners, it's, it's close to the hands here. Rupert can keep the lead with one hand. He can get away with one hand and keep the lead here. Virtual consoles are not for casuals. I started my speedruns on the virtual console. I would have had the any percent no wrong warp record probably a year and a half earlier had I noticed that I was losing time in auto scrollers against the world record holder. The worst was I used to race side by side with the world record video and I always lost time in the auto scroller and I, and I didn't know why. Yeah, I got the I got the any percent no wrong warp world record on the Wii Virtual Console and the Mario 3 Warpless records were thrown back and forth by me and Karua on the Wii Virtual Console. Don't worry, we got a race tomorrow, Mr. Double Bass. We got a race tomorrow. Dave Lindo with the damages. Not gonna want to go in Small Mario with some of these things. All right, good luck, you guys. We are about to head off to the hands for both of these runners. Here we go. Here we go, go, go. Oh, one hand for Rupert. This is the chance for Dave to catch up. This is a chance for Dave to catch up. This is a chance. All right, Dave Lindo getting first hand. All right, what does he get here? How many hands? Oh! What is that, three hands total, right? Three hands total. No, look at all you guys, no! My points, my points. <laughs> My Komagata? Yeah, wait till the airship, because you don't know. Oh, Dave Lindo! This could be it! We could get... We could get four hands! Yeah, I think Dave Lindo's safe here, guys. All right, Rupert going for the double points here. The combo looking good on his side. Looking good on his side. Get the 290. All right, he's got to get the 291 or higher. Come on, Dave Lindo, you got this. Rupert is going to do his damage boost strategies. Oh, he's going to lose speed speed. What does he got to get? 291. Oh, what? What happened there? 
I didn't even look away. I didn't even look away. I don't know what, I seriously don't know what happened. And did Dave Lindo get a 289? What just happened? Short jump off the music box. Dave Lindo got 289? I don't think so. Yeah, so he's not gonna be able to get this one. Oh. Oh my gosh, Rupert! What the heck? That is insane. All right, time for some conveyor P speed, guys. All right, here we go. Oh, Rupert doesn't get it. Dave Lindo does get it though. Oh no. No, Dave! No! And that's it. Rupert's definitely got the win here. Oh, he made it! Oh my gosh, look at how close these guys are. This is way too close. This is way too close. They are on the last auto scroller. Dude, it's so crazy how close these guys ended up being. Imagine this was race one. If if Dave Lindo wins this race, they're tied in points. Right? Well, no. They'd be one point off. This is crazy. This has been a great race. All right, Rupert's gonna enter first. Rupert's gonna be the first one. Oh no. He's gonna have to wait. <laughs> They're so, no! No, that was it. That was as close as we got. That was as close as we got. Oh, <laughs> Rupert not having the most exciting Bowser there. That was insane, guys. Jesus. That was insane. Nice. Is Dave Lindo gonna draw an 8-bit peen? No. No, wrong way. No. Very nice try, though. Dave Lindo coming in under the hour. Nine to six for this one, guys. Very nice race. Very nice race.
So what do we have? What do we have? 15 plus 9. Quick maths, guys. 15 plus 9 and then 6 plus... Guess what? Nothing. That's right. 6 plus nothing. And what do I do? What, do, what is... 15 plus 9 is 24? I think 24 to 6. Everyone had a good time with you guys, so thank you very much, guys. Um, and it is Friday night, so we are gonna go ahead and give Rupert the Juicy Raid. I have been on for a little too long, guys. I'm gonna rest my throat, rest my head. We're gonna give the winner a raid. I think Rupert has advanced before, but I'm not entirely sure. So everyone go give Rupert some love, some GGs, and I will see you guys all again tomorrow for the next race, the last race of round one and then it starts getting crunchy it starts getting crispy it's gonna start getting good so thank you guys very much for watching go give rupert some love and uh i will catch you guys all tomorrow remember 2 p.m eastern is the race take it easy guys